There we go. Uh, okay, so I played this like an hour ago, uh, and I would like to preface this with match two is probably exactly as judder or jittery as it looks in this recording. I think that's the only fighting game match I've ever played at 100% speed at 15 FPS. Yeah, I ran into that earlier today too. They skipped the intros. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing against this character, so I'm more gonna be focusing on just like general stuff. Um, there's a couple combo things that I know I need to fix up in this, but like, yeah, there's a lot of like neutral situations where I'm just not even sure what I'm going for. Like, I guess to start, this is probably more character specific. I don't even know what range I want to stand against against Akiha. Yeah, so like, she has like okay. I I'd, I'd say she probably has equivalent like ground buttons to you. Maybe uh, hers are tiny... definitely better. Um, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. CL, like, has a couple of good buttons, but for the most part, they're all at weird angles, is what it feels like to me anyways. Yeah. Was... Something, a range that you probably want to stand in is so that if she does, like, I think it's the 2-1-4 two, two, uh, series, like the jump Yeah, forward. yeah. Yo, those moves if are you, good. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, if you stand in a range where that whiffs, you can whiff punish it. Okay. Like, either it goes over you because you're crouching, or they're just far enough away that it's not going to do anything. Gotcha. Yeah, I I was going to say I probably want to stand, like, right about here-ish, like, right at the edge of air dash range. Um, but that makes sense, and that's, like, exactly in the, oh, no, I've blocked... I think that's like 214A and 214. Or er, no, 214B actually goes a fucking ways. Um, I just hopped so in and better. like tested. When I was testing if the shockwave was a low, um, I just like checked what her moves are. But mm -hmm. I'm assuming that they're negative. I might be wrong on that, uh, actually. I know. Oh, well, I guess that's. Never mind. It's combo stuff. Okay. Uh, Anyways, I guess uh, I'll probably just like let game one just play through and <laughs> I thought that counter hit <laughs> yeah uh, this Akiha was not the greatest at uh, doing like finishing certain combos right I forgot about the jump cancel on moon drive there yeah also something important to know is when the blood rings won't mm -hmm. hit you crouching Okay, so the B1 does with Hunk Crouch. I wasn't sure. Yeah, also, well, it's also like certain TK rings won't hit crouching. Mm, gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. So, like, they'll do, like, a quote-unquote unblockable. If you're down backing or jabbing, you'll, like, punch the ring. Or if you're down backing, you just won't block it. So mm -hmm. they can run up and grab you. Interesting. Okay, yeah. I, there were a couple of those where I tried to do the anti-Raven tech, where you stand up and block it so that you don't get command grabbed, but I tried to do stand shield, and in my head, the initial shield catch is like Blitz, where on catch you are invincible, Yeah. and I just got hit low, and I'm like, oh shit, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, you have to... Mm -hmm. you, you basically just have to tech the throw. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, also, this is a situation that's going to come up a lot. You can see my inputs down at the bottom. I press down C. And then I press 4 C. Yeah. Uh, especially, like, I've been getting better about it, but this situation... Uh, right, YouTube goes back a while. Yeah, it's like five seconds. There's a cross-up, so I just hit down. <laughs> yeah. So, I, uh, that is something that I think comes up less in this game than normal, but has been the bane of my existence recently. I know I just need to grind that out, though. Interesting shield interaction. Yeah, uh, that was not me trying to hold shield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you right, need... right. Uh, yeah, I did the, the BDP where it was actually invincible. Well, I meant, like, the air combo finisher. Did you mean to let them tech out? Uh, which one? Me? It was, like... It was, like... No, it was the, like, one combo before that. Like, there. Here? Because, like, you do this. Uh, oh, I, I misjudged the amount of meter I would get back. 
um because uh, i was okay. trying to do 2bc into the dive and just mm -hmm. i'm like oh yeah it'll it'll get me that meter as i do this combo but it gave me like zero meter on the air combo yeah. uh so combos yeah. that start with like 3c or shield launcher basically give you zero circuit oh is that how it works okay i mean it's mostly just because you immediately go into the launch you have like mm. three hits of meter gain and you basically don't get anything from that gotcha <laughs> that hurts every time i see it <laughs> yeah Um, here I'm actually gonna... I keep doing the thing from other games where it's normal, normal, special cancel to end string. Like, I should just press 4A here, not 214B. Yeah. It yeah. catches people because people don't remember that there's more, but, like, it's a bad habit that I'm getting rewarded for. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can mix it up, but mm -hmm. sometimes just doing safe bailout is good. Like that, it's fine. There's apparently a range where I can uh, do 2 and 4 BBA and B+, plus, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, for so some like... reason, I thought that that would do the thing uh, with Milia Disc. Like, I did that on purpose, because with Milia Disc, if you, like, DP into it and it gets blocked to some characters, your invincibility runs out, you get hit by the disc, and you just get out of the situation... <laughs> And I'm like, oh, this yeah. will basically OTG me. And then I did it, and I'm like, I'm stupid. <laughs> it works in some situations, but not all the time. Mm hmm Man, that Aki just sort of threw the meter away. Yeah, I mean, it, like, it was a safe heat setup. Like, I'll give them that. They wanted all the health back, which, like, makes sense. <clears throat> I mean, uh, and then they just didn't block the fucking... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, firstly, I think it's a little... It's a lot risky. Around. It's really risky because now you start even resources in this round instead of being ahead. Mm hmm Oh, right. I forgot that she got an extra one. Yeah. And she, she had three bars when she heated. So mm -hmm. she would have had four bars for this round. Yeah, immediate blood heat. Well, I, I probably wouldn't immediately. Well, yeah, heat, but, but like immediately it's on deck or yeah. uh, last arc. So the threat is there. Uh, one thing that I realized... Also, holy shit, this crossed up. How did this... That hold me out of the corner? It's like... Yeah. Okay, okay. I don't know if it was that or the little, uh, like, half step on the throw here. Because I, like, I input a throw. I think it was the throw whiff let you get pulled out by that move. I don't know. I, I think Bruh, that I have move, no idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the the jump B technically hit cross up, so it pushed you out for okay. some reason. Yeah. So that's... I tried to, or I think, anyways. Maybe I fucked up the input. I mean, well, I said you got fatal, my... so you got shield. Did you try drive. to do like throw tech shield? Oh, okay, no, I did hit shield. It was one of the later games where I tried to 2-2-C and still got fatal grabbed. I just remember being... Yeah, this is where I learned that that's a low. <laughs> yeah. A against, I think... I don't know. Against characters that are standing there when you're blocking their, like, wake-up projectile, you basically want to go for an immediate shield option mm -hmm. until, like, they start doing weird stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you, you show them that you're willing to just immediate press, and so they have to call out that you're going to be doing that. Mm -hmm. So it changes their offense, and then you can get out easier. I think that this one, um, to be fair, I think that this was like a meaty low. Yeah. So this one, even if I'd done the immediate... Well, actually, I don't know. If you do the immediate option, does this like unblockable same frame you or does this get dodged by the b teleport 
I, at least in my experience, B teleport would get you out of the situation, because I run into this as Kohaku, doing it to other people. Okay. And I can't, I can't, like, exactly do it. Maybe I have been catching people with that, but, I don't know. It's just one of those things I'm not quite sure how the interaction works. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, that's such a, like, such a specific situation that either way it's probably better to go immediate or uh, just like not go for shield there <laughs> that's probably exactly what they're looking for yeah <laughs> god yeah So like I those rings, I feel like it's really safe to shield. Specifically, which ones? The ones where you can, the ones you can shield low. Because then they have to overhead you rather than low you. Okay. Well, are you talking about like this one? Oh, I guess she's in recovery until landing, isn't she? I was. Yeah. In my head, I'm like, I have to stand block the air dash. No, nah, it's the the moon drive it ones can be jump canceled. No other ones can. Okay. Yeah, I think that this is just another one where, in my head, it's a uh, milia ring, so you're actionable in the air. Yeah. Oh, hey, Teddy. Uh, trying to do a VOD review of a match I just did. Oh, my bad. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. But, yeah, uh, I did... Later on in the game, I, like, remembered that this is Melty, not Gear, so blocking it out is, like, a much more valid option. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a... There's a lot... I guess there's, like, the safe way of bailing out of strings, and there's not a lot of things that open you up. Mm-hmm. There's less, like... Well, A, you're less punished for blocking it out. There's no, like, risk meter. Um, yeah. And B... It feels like, outside of specific Oki situations, the mix-ups are, like, just straight up less fucked in this game. Okay, real quick. This, I was super happy about. Um, so, I don't really know what to do for pressure off of this Oki, the, like, the meaty A key. But, I go for this specific spacing, and I press 1C, because it's either a, like, edge of range... 2C that hits, or if they be teleport and I time it right, it just fucking OS's. <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I've had someone do the wake up teleport on me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this is just a combo thing, but uh, so I do the wrong combo here. I, like, didn't confirm it into 2C. I pressed, a uh, 4C. Mm. So I didn't get the corner combo that would have killed, and it wasn't long enough to get me the meter to arc drive at the end by, like, one yeah. hit. <laughs> you can also... I feel... Well, you can also use moon drive to combo extend if you need to. All right, I forgot about... I could have also OTG'd. Yeah. I feel like OTGs I the kill OTG in this game. a lot less in this game. I don't know. I was fighting I a never... CL the other day that was OTGing me off of, like, every hard knockdown. Um, and more than anything else, it was really awkward to hold my, uh, my tech button and, like, pick shield or something like that. I mean, you can just hold D as your tech button. Mm -hmm. uh, only when you're on the ground, though. So if I wanted to air tech and get less OTG hit... Yeah. I sure fucking did that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, do <laughs> you don't want to heat projectiles at this game. Mm -hmm. They just like don't work. Yeah, I. Uh, this doesn't kill them, right? It doesn't. No, but like, it felt real dumb because I definitely low shielded, and I'm pretty sure they reacted and did the airborne move. Yeah, you mm -hmm. you really don't want to vanish projectiles. Uh, that one I actually wasn't sure I'd be able to punish, um, because I didn't have the meter to do the EX cancel. But that's yeah. why I only threw the one projectile that time. 
Uh, normally, yeah, just you, in... you throw too fast. Yeah, but also in general, it's just like all it does is put you next to them, and it, it like even, You're like mm -hmm. kind of even. I wonder what it is on block, because it I think it's like even on hit. Yeah. <laughs> that still hit I am me. surprised that hit you. Yeah. I think something else to know that's important is Okay. When they're already in Moon Drive and you're doing Oki stuff. Yeah, which... I keep forgetting that Moon Drive lasts as long as it does. Um, mm -hmm. I need to remember to actually, like, look up and see, but, like, the moon drive was so long ago that in my head I'm like, there's no way that they're still there. Well, you could, it, you could also, like, see, like, the moon drive aura around their character. True, true. Also, this is another one of the things where I just, like, hate Melty's movement input handler. I tried to do a dash to move to, like, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but, like, here, like, the center of that window. Yeah. Uh, and when you press 6-6, six, six, you just fucking go and don't stop when you let go of 6. Mm -hmm. Which is how I, uh, end up here to throw the fucking projectile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just tried to mash out late there. I don't even feel like that's advantageous. <laughs> even if you if you get normal hit vanish, mm -hmm. like it feels really bad. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if I have to shield that, because I definitely like hit a button. You do. But you do have to air shield it. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a ground special. So, it's always really funny, because I'm never trying to do whatever follow-up it is. I'm just trying to finish, like, I'm trying to do the next hit in my hit confirm. Um, but then I also tap D to shield back. Yeah. It happens to me sometimes, because I'll try to shield and then throw. And I just get shield yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good use of Moon Drive to be like, hey, you're doing some really cool Oki, I need to know what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so I had no idea what? that this wall bounces mid-screen. Huh. Like, I don't know if I can combo off it. It looks like I can probably just throw knives. Yeah, or combo off of it with an EX or something. Or mm -hmm. combo into an EX. Does it do that What is the Moon Drive? Uh, I don't know. That is, like, the third time I've ever pressed that move. Yeah. Real quick, what is the charge input? Uh, 2 A A B. A B? Yes. Okay. I hit 2 A D. Yeah. Yeah. The, the charge input is, uh, down and your dash macro? Yeah, that's... What? That's wonky. Ah, yeah, cross up, and that's that. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the start real quick, and I'm just gonna, like, skip around a lot more. I feel like... I don't know, nothing jumped out to me as super awful about, like, my positioning, but I think that's more because I don't know what I'm even going for with it. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, like, for the most part, are you, like, trying to zone her or, like, get up in her face? Uh, I, I feel, feel like... Yeah. I was going to say, I feel like standing in mid-range isn't the best idea against her. Mm-hmm. I think that, um... So, I think what's happening is my, like, default positioning as a player is closer to mid-range. And CL is, like, strong at up-close and far range, but not mid but I'm like, okay, yeah. this just lets me swap between them. But it doesn't actually. Yeah. One thing that, like, didn't really, you didn't really run into, but there, she has, like, an actually, like, really good anti-air with, like, the fairy DP. Right, yeah. I, I don't know how much Wait, I it's... ended up in that position. Yeah, which... you, you, she never really used it either. Mm -hmm. But it's actually only really scary if they have... Uh, if you're cornered or if they have moon drive because they just send it and then hit moon drive to confirm gotcha 
I feel like I need to figure out something better to do on Oki than just the raw uh, 2A versus throw guess. Yeah. Uh... So, like, is I there, guess is... here, what are the chances that that was a messed up DP input? <laughs> or this? Because um... maybe I did definitely put myself in that position. <laughs> Let's see, what is that was just a B. Yeah. That, hmm. So the first one was like five B, the second one was ring. Yeah, I mean it could have been. Either way, they... it's a situation where it could have worked, and it certainly isn't something I was thinking about. Yeah, and in general, that's like one of the interiors that you have to be like really preemptive with because doing six two three on reaction in a scramble is exceptionally hard to do. Unless you're, like, really, really good. Fair. I, I feel like that's definitely, like, a standard Street Fighter skill to a certain degree, but... Well, there's also less shit happening in Street Fighter. That is also true. You yeah, don't I have a there's a lot jump. less of that style scramble. <laughs> yeah. Also, I will say... This video actually looks way more steady than the match was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I really feel like you should be standing further away and forcing her to approach. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, like here, because she doesn't. She doesn't really have that many great tools to approach with. Cause like she could throw down rings to stop you from approaching, but then. But if she, she throws a really... ring, I can probably knife it on reaction. Yeah. Like, her ground buttons are, like, pretty, pretty decent. And she doesn't really have, like, great air buttons. Like, jump C is, like, fairly disjointed. Jump B, basically, uh, it's a little bit, like, below her, but... That's the claw swipe? Yeah. Okay. It's like, you have to be careful with those, but... It's like... Mm -hmm. uh, actually, actually, what are your anti to... options? Mine? Yeah. Uh, rising jump A, 3C, and air throw, I think. Alright. Uh, technically 2B, but that one feels yeah. like a meme. I, I think yeah. the real answer is not B there. Yeah, whiff. Make them whiff. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So, go ahead. I was say, something else too is if you force them to like approach, and you can count their air options, you can make it actually really hard for them to land with an air button. Because if you know if they've used a double jump or an air dash, you can usually just run behind them, and then they can't really effectively stop you from anti-airing them or with punishing them. Right. There's no real cross-up buttons. Outside of a couple yeah. characters, so you can just aim for the legs on landing frames from yeah, behind. Yeah, and that's okay. That's something, yeah, that's that. something I do a lot. To mm. it's like I stuff approaches part of the time, and then the other times I'm just like I will run under you, and if you've burned your double jump, you cannot turn around. So yeah, it's it's like extremely safe, and they can only block or like back air dash and that's like you can react to both of those mm -hmm. well i guess you can't react to block but you can react to the air dashes yeah and like if they block theoretically it's pressure time i still need to work on my pressure for sure but like even yeah. with my current one that's still worth going for mm -hmm. um also for this situation here i feel like so i try to mash out here with 2c which i feel like would not hit uh 5a anyways but definitely doesn't hit that <laughs> yeah um, so like in a situation like this is i guess my goal would be to just leave yeah well in neutral? like situations like this where they whiff a, with a button to be like safe you mm -hmm. i feel like most time you don't really want to mash with a crouching button because crouching buttons are you can be air dashed over and that's like mm -hmm. the easy reset option Okay. Uh, because they're like too far away to actually start doing things. So if I'm going to mash here, I have to hit 5C. Yeah, well, it's like 5C will beat, pretty sure it'll beat most characters, like 5B, 5Cs. Well, that'll obviously beat like their 5Cs and shit, but mm -hmm. 
for yeah. the if they press like five A, they'll whiff punish your five C, and if they jump, they'll get hit by five C. If they press like a heavier button, they'll get hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, out of curiosity, in a situation like this, I guess it would be less risky to go for the 5C, because even if they do hit the 5A, it's at the end of that cancel chain, so they have well, to special you, right you away can't... to confirm it, right? Oh, I mean, it's more like press 5A to whiff, and then 5A again afterwards. Ah, uh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, but I, like... I feel like I'm generally hitting 2C, because I think think it has slightly more range i might actually be wrong there i'll have to mess with it yeah but well it's mostly like here if you press 5c and they press a button that beats it they have to hit confirm off of it and at further ranges their hit confirms have to be good mm -hmm. because they can't just mash 2a they have to like press 5 a b c and then by that point know how they're gonna combo yeah and okay okay with, that... with like akiha she doesn't really have any forward moving moves so she has to, like, her, like, normal combo route is 2C charged 5B, and you have to, like, confirm that really well at mid-ranges. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I'm familiar with that one. Oh, wait, I think my 5C has clash frames, too, if I charge it. Oh, maybe. That... I'll need to test that. If so, then that's another reason to go for it, though it also does make my confirm... What? Actually, I wonder, can I... Well, I'll mess with that later, uh, seeing if, like, 5C, I guess, like, 4CC, uh, 2C leads into stuff. Yeah. But, like, here, it's, like, also, they can just, like, neutral jump forward, or forward jump. And those, like, aren't as aggressive as air dash in, but they also can't be punished as hard as just air dash in. Gotcha. That makes sense. Also, man, it'd be at really least nice that's my at least that's my work. experience with uh, Kohaku, but uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think CL can do similar things. She definitely doesn't have the same level of like space control into hard knockdown for spending a bar, yeah. but like the situation itself, I could see being similar, even if the reward is weighted differently. Yeah. But okay, yeah, that uh, that gives me a good starting point and something to mess with. Yeah. Also, I'm so lucky that this uh, Akiha keeps like letting me tech out. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's like the Akiha combos are all actually a little bit difficult. Mhm. Mm I believe that. I need to get way better at my confirms. I am astounded that I only had that one. Uh, 2C, 2, 2, or 2, 1, 4, C, this whole set. Yeah. <laughs> Mist Mystic yeah. Mangram. Yeah. I definitely got lucky also, there, but... Yeah. Something I do a lot, Kohaku, but that's mostly just because I'm constantly spending meter, is I'm switching between meter use and moon drive in, like, how I approach my game plans. Mm -hmm. Because uh, using the other charges the other. Oh, Basically. being in... Or using EX's charges moon. Right, yeah. I knew that the other way worked. I forgot about that one. So, basically, by switching between them, I get more of both. I just use them at different times. Okay. Also, uh, real quick. So, this is that situation you were talking about earlier, where there's the jump, there's the air dash, and so I try to do a rising jump A to counter hit, but they've already hit the button. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure what I should do do here to be honest so like, like if they I, double jump air dash like if you can react to it dash under is really good i think that this is the first frame i'm actionable so i think that they would land before i could get in position i might Dashes be wrong are there really fast true like, but they actually. have to the, like weird startup stuff yeah but also but just because well, i'm more I, I might have more i don't know i feel like i'm also like just more experienced with seeing if i can do it so like mm -hmm. yeah that's i'll fair. be looking for the opportunity to dash under so i True. can like get it as as soon as possible yeah and i'm i'm definitely not i like i guess my like big commit option here would be uh I, like i could 2-2 b and hope they don't falling shield <laughs> um yeah or 3c but yeah the uh the dash basically just like yeah Massive air quotes because melty dashes micro dash 2c to punish yeah. the landing. 
I also, I being... wouldn't be I wouldn't be too afraid of like air shield unless they really show that they they're going to do mm-hmm. it because it is really bad. That's if they, true. That's if they true. don't catch anything, because like yeah, if they yeah. don't catch anything, it's full recovery until ground. So it's like you might just die because they didn't press anything. See, you did shield, and then be like, I you getting punished. True. True. Okay. And and you get your starter of choice. Wait, did I? I did jump B. I think jump A would have hit. R.I.P. Yeah, but still, you definitely want to. Yeah, uh... definitely want to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what it is is a uh, jump S is my like rising anti-air button mm-hmm. with Milia, and it's that button. Yeah. <laughs> so I yeah. that's why I keep hitting it. But okay, yeah. Luckily, I don't oh. die somehow. Yeah. But. I guess you can't exactly do this, but it's useful to know. You can try to like outspace their normals if you think you know which one they're jumping in mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. But you can't exactly outspace them with your air buttons, so it's not. It's exactly still good relevant. to know that, uh, if nothing else, it's good to know that people will try and do it against me. Yeah, because th- that's something I do with Kohaku. I just abuse my jump normals like massive disjoints. Mm hmm. This sure did yeah. happen. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Your your arc or er, your last arc puts them full screen. It does. Yeah, I think I can dash super jump and get like a safe jump or something. But most of the yeah. time, I just go for the keys. Also, wait a minute. Yeah. Why did I have? Doing the last arc gives you meter. <laughs> what the that fuck? That is hilarious. Like, oh, is it because like... I'm in moon? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, moon drive. Moon drive is the passive meter gain. Okay. <laughs> I was, like I was thinking about it. I'm like, why the fuck do I have meter for this? But that that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, I, I think the other option you have there is if you feel like it, you can just start charging meter. True. True. Uh, I didn't like. I had already gone for the other input. So I knew yeah. that I didn't know it, so I didn't there. But that is good to remember for future stuff, for sure. Yeah. It's it's a little riskier to do when you're, like, even on life. Especially mm-hmm. that low. But oftentimes, if I'm, like, high, like way higher than life on my opponent, I might take the risk and just start charging more meter for the next round. That makes sense, yeah. And in a situation like that, it would have been extra useful, um, because if I could do, like, charge into, a throw keys, because they're still full screen, then I'd have the meter for the EX to yeah, punish also, the vanish. Uh, charge uh, has, like, no recovery. Oh, really? Oh, also, for yeah. reference, this is round one of the next game. Yeah. But, yeah, really? Huh. Okay, that's good to know. Like, on reaction, I can blow block Vlav projectiles while charging. It's like... Huh. Is is really... Uh, it's, it's like surprisingly... A B, right? So can you just like tap D to shield out of it immediately? Uh, well it's 2 A plus B and I yeah. think you have to drop it and then block. Okay, okay. Yo, by the way, this is the most guilty gear throw ever. <laughs> yeah, mash out throw. <laughs> I don't believe also, in your Oki. I'm. I read this on Mizumi, but if you tech your opponent's throw, you are uh, plus, you're plus three. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been uh, I've been mashing two C after throw techs now. Uh, it's really I annoying was... when I go for the defensive throw and I get my throw first. They yeah. tech my throw, yeah. and I'm minus like sick. So. Uh, also, I was expecting this to hard knockdown, which is why I chased. I think that optimally here, I back off and throw knives. Yeah. Uh, so the thing here is like you can offense. Up, you hmm? can approach, and when they tech out, you can chase their tech in the air. Hmm. Do you like? Well, it's like you can't exactly like, quote unquote, tech chase them. But something hmm. I do is I will let them tech out in the air. And they have limited options, whereas I don't. So, so you just kind of like can... chill on the ground under them and try to anti-air them? Yeah, it's like I'll try to anti-air them or try to get under them and make it hard for them to come back down to the ground safely. Gotcha. So yeah, I was actually like... in pretty good position for that. And then I like 
So, I, again, I, like, I didn't think that this... I thought this was a hard knockdown, and then I'm like, oh, shit, can I pick up off this? Um, yeah. But in situations like this, yeah, holding my ground here seems like a good position for sure, and then I bail out and, like, turn the situation on its head. <laughs> that, that's a bad yeah. dash. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, that's that's something good to think about for sure. Is I I really feel it coming from Smash Bros, but I feel like I understand like the uh juggle situation a lot. So I can like abuse it to yeah, I guess it is kind of a juggle people. situation. I Hmm. Cuz it's like like it, they're above you. They have one air dash and one jump after their tech. And after they jump, they cannot turn around anymore. So it's like, after they use those options, every time they do that, it just lowers the chances they can get back to the ground safely. Some characters, yeah, that makes sense. you probably don't want to do that with. Because, like, Kohaku can, like, air dash and go, like, fucking full screen away. It's... Oh, yeah, because she has the weird broom air dash. Yeah, but okay. like the normal melty air dashes don't give you much distance. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that that seems important. Yeah. Also, looking out for super jump can be something different because they can either oh, air dash right. and then normal jump, super jump, or like neutral you, jump, drift. You said that, and I'm like, it's just normal jump, but I have more time to react. Mm. Goes yeah. Forward. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, let's see, to recap then, think about the ranges I'm playing better and try and stay out of mid-range, which feels weird, <laughs> but is uh, probably a good learning experience. Yeah. Uh, should probably, if I'm trying, like if I am selecting mash at further ranges, I should use 5C, not 2C. Yeah. Uh, charges down plus dash. That's important. <laughs> I also didn't see you do like much wake up moon drive armor special stuff, which is like considerably good. I always forget that you can, like, I think moon drive, and I'm like, yes, this is the busted thing. And I totally forget mm -hmm. that it also gives you like armor on jump cancel. Giga armor on everything. Yeah. I actually like, yeah. I forget that both on offense and defense. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, finding a special, or a moon drive special that you can effectively whiff punish with and get, like, decent reward off uh, okay. could be good. Because if you chill at, like, a range, like, that you can reactively say, okay, if you do something and whiff it, I'm gonna just press like, 6BC or 4BC, whatever you can combo off of. Mm-hmm. I, is like, yeah. Let's see. It would have to be either. Well, if it's combo off of, I think the answer is nothing. Um, yeah. If, but like for just straight damage, there's the uh, the six BC, which is that like lunging thrust that I think I used here in game. Yeah, three. and I think your your four BC is just like throwing a shitload of keys. Yeah, it right? is. It like it doesn't. So it's like three of them. Um, it's I guess it's like five of them. It's not bad by any means, but it's like not really the uh, not great for damage, and it doesn't specifically it doesn't always connect right. It's weird. Yeah, but like finding one of your moon drive specials that you can use as a whiff punish tool for easy whiff punishing mm -hmm. is like that's what I use like Kohaku six BC four or. Uh, Miyako has... And honestly, 4 and 6 BC are good for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that... Uh, I think mine's gonna be 3 BC, the, like, the dashing lunge. Uh, it's apparently also safe on block? Which is... Yeah. Also... Fucking bizarre. Uh, actually, you should also find out which one of your moon drive skills are jump cancelable on block. Uh, it's just 2-2 two, two BC. Alright. Just the deep. I one. didn't know if like one of them was just randomly jump cancelable for some reason. Uh no. It from what I unless I missed something, it's just the two two BC. But yeah, this is the uh the yeah. move that whiff punishes. Yeah, yeah, that is about and the range. If you <laughs> if you want like hard knockdown off of it, you can like confirm into like the EX to just hard knockdown and get something started. 
Mm -hmm. Which might be worth it, like, here, just because you have 4 meter. Yeah, for sure. It'd just be this into, like, probably 236C, because I don't think 623C would actually connect. It's, like, real finicky and not at that range. Yeah. Especially with, like, the amount of untech time that move has. Like, you could probably just hit confirm it on reaction. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's see. If I'm mashing, use 5C at range. Also see if uh, the charge 4CC, like what the pickup from that Abare is. Uh, think about positioning more. Generally try to lean more towards people approaching me. Um, though, I will say I have much less of an understanding of what to do if I've given up too much space and am starting to get cornered as CL compared to, like, Milia, where I have the extra tall super jump and two air dashes and capel and now turbo fall capel for some reason and shit yeah. like that. Something um, I do is when I start getting cornered like that is I look for an opportunity to dash under. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I hmm. It's like, obviously, if they're, like, wary about it, they'll, like, stay mostly grounded or at, like, low, low air uh, to, like, stop you from doing that. Mm -hmm. But then they can't, like, cover the higher options, so if you just, like, du jump, like, forward jump, super jump, air dash, Maybe... you can get a giant amount I, of distance I, off okay. of it. Maybe that's what it is, is because I kept trying to super jump air dash and just getting fucked for it, I just removed that option. Because that is what I do as Milia, is super jump air dash a lot of the time, and in this, mm -hmm. that puts you in that, like punchable arc though it is pretty quick so mm -hmm. yeah probably just like up back super jump air dash that makes sense that makes a lot more yeah. sense yeah you can also mix it up obviously with like jump back air dash like jump forward mm -hmm. to like try to get get out of range of like a rising jump normal but yeah, yeah. That, you... that makes sense but it just like i didn't have like the level A option there, and thinking yeah. about it now, that that makes sense as one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that uh, charges down dash, position better for anti airs, and find a moon special for whiff punishing. See if I can 236C off of it. Oh, and uh, rebeat into 5A, dumbass. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are my notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Nice. YouTube, why did you, like, change the quality halfway through? Oh, don't worry. Oh. My YouTube just defaults to 480p for some reason. Oof. Well, I'm gonna cut that here.